AppSec Europe 2014. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> So those of you who don't know me, my name is Justin Clark. I am the OWASP uh, London chapter leader, and I'm also another member of the conference committee. Um, so we had, uh, we had Adrian leading off and opening um, the conference, and uh, I think he's, uh, he's, he's certainly due uh, a bit of a rest, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the closing one. So before we, um, before we uh, you know, kind of go into the, the last bits and pieces, and I know, I know you guys will want to see who won. Um, Let's, let's kind of look at seeing, seeing you know, what we had here. So we had four days. So not all of you are here for the entire time, but we had uh, four full days worth of stuff. All starting with you guys, like there's, there's me at the, uh, at, the, at the registration desk on day one of the training, just waiting for, uh, for those of you who were here for the training. So who, who, who has been here the entire full four days? That is absolutely awesome. Now you guys probably don't have any room in your brains to learn anything more for the rest of the year, is that right? Yeah, okay. So, um, you know, and then we had, you know, a, a lot of awesome training. Um, here we have uh, our, our old favorite um, kind of member of the island community, Owen. Uh, Owen and Jim doing some training, um, the web hacking and breaking. So we had uh, a number of different things covering a wide variety of different topics. And it was awesome to kind of see the uptake that we had there. We also had a lot of kind of uh, community events. So. This is from the, uh, the University Challenge. We had, how many teams did we have? Four. So we had four teams from across Europe coming and competing in the, um, in the University Challenge. Um, we had, uh, I think, a team from, actually, I don't remember where they're all from. One was from, from UCL. Um, we had at least one team from Germany. I, I'm not entirely sure. I don't even care where they came from. Um, but they all came and participated. Um, and they had fun. Um, and we were, we were extremely glad that these were the kinds of things that we could provide a venue uh, for these guys uh, to come and participate um, with us, with OWASP. Then we kick off into the conference days. So, uh, you know, thanks, thanks to our sponsors who are, um, who are, who are still here um, for, uh, you know, really making, making the actual conference uh, program itself. But really, at the end of the day, it's you guys. So here's everybody kind of like lining up before the first, con uh, first um, keynote. Uh, Jacob West, and then off we go. Two days of back-to-back -back talks, three different tracks, uh, actually no, three different rooms. I think it was, uh, at the end of the day, we had a number of different tracks. We had like, you know, some which only ran for one day, some which ran for two days, big variety of stuff. And I think I've certainly heard back from a lot of people that, um, you know, that most difficult of things where you're sitting there going like, I really want to go and see this, but there's this other thing on at the same time. It's like, I think it's excellent that we've given you those problems um, because like that, that just means that there's a lot of meat in there. There's a lot of good talks um, that you guys have seen. Um, just to let you know, if you're not aware already, so not only um, are the, uh, all of the um, things have been streamed um, so far that could be streamed. Um, so there's, a, there's a, at least one talk, I think, uh, Richard's talk, where um, he preferred not to have it streamed. But um, all of the stuff which has been streamed and recorded, um, we're going to be doing our utmost to get that pushed out um, sometime in the next week. So uh, I know um, the media team, I think you guys have, have said that you're going you're gonna to do your best to kind of get the keynotes out uh, by the end of this week um, with everything else following when it can be done. Um, so if you missed any of those great talks because you were in another great talk, um, you're, you're certainly going to have the opportunity to kind of watch those after the fact. Equally, if you were in a great talk and you're going to go back to your company and you, you want to kind of spread that knowledge, um, that's certainly going to be possible soon. So, thank you very much for coming. But a few details, what next, you know, uh, price draws, you know, various things. A um, couple of announcements first. I'm just going to tease you guys a little bit more. A couple of other things um, which are happening with OWASP, which I just want to make you guys aware of. Um, we have the Web Application Security Person of the Year Awards coming up. Just to let you know, um, if, you, if there is anybody out there that you are thinking globally, Web Application Security Person of the Year, nominate somebody. Um, nominations close the 30th of June. Um, and uh, Kelly also asked me to put up the fact that we're also looking for sponsors. Um, so they're on the website, the WASPY Awards 2014. Also, we have another round of board elections coming up. So if you want to nominate yourself, the call for candidates closes August 15. 
Uh, I know why you said that, and I'm, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yes, there is actually. So there's a lot of detail on the wiki. If you go to the uh, board elections ones, there is there's a lot of detail there about how the process works. Um, you know what you need to do and stuff like that. Uh, equally, there's a lot of detail around. Uh, you know, uh, you know how you're going to put your, forward your manifesto and how people are going to ask you questions and things like that. And uh, as I think uh, people in, in, in recent uh, weeks, but like let's be honest, over the last several years. Um, those people who have been serving as board members uh, know that it is not an easy job. So, um, but it is at the same time a way of, uh, of, of getting truly involved with OWASP and steering its direction, um, you know, going forward strategically for the next several years. That's all I'm going to say. So let's, 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 let's move on to, the, uh, on to the fun stuff. CTF results. So we'll start, we'll start off, um, should, we, should we give um, Stephen a, uh, a handheld mic? And I will hand it over to you, Stephen Vanderbun, who is taking care of and running the CTF. Hello? Ah, it's working. Um, yeah, the CTF ran for two days yesterday morning, I started, and a couple of you really stuck in there up till the last moment. One person even was unfortunate enough to submit his result just after I turned off the wireless system. But yeah, <laughs> those things happen. Um, but we have a final result that on first place with his signature at hashtag security, come on down. So, managed to get 13 first, points. First, first prize for the CTF is one pass to AppSec EU 2015 in Amsterdam next year. One Raspberry Pi. He's the third place. I'm the third place. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listening. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'll take the tickets out. He receives a free membership of OWASP for the next year. Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. So, I'm tired, people. I'm tired. Like, forgive me here. <laughs> So we can just grab your details after all. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on, se on the second place with also 13 points, but he made it just a little bit sooner than the other one did. Um, M, come forward. He yeah. really was annoyed with a lot of the challenges. Congratulations. You also received the uh, OWASP membership for a year, and this Raspberry Pi. Yeah. And on first place, unfortunately, I already saw him on the way out of here, um, Stefan Stahl. Um, he also receives a full year membership, the Raspberry Pi, and an entrance ticket for the next conference in the Netherlands. So, uh, unfortunately, he is not here in person to pick it up, but Stefan, this will come your way. Thank you, Stephen. So, now let's, now let's get on to some of the fun stuff. So, let's, let's talk about uh, vendor passport prizes. So, first, first prize for the vendor passport is two tickets to APSEC EU 2015 in the Netherlands. <laughs> you, you, you'd have a few drinks at the time, don't worry, you'd, you'd agree. Um, second prize is a Google Nexus 7 tablet. Third prize is actually not here, but we have it, which is an Amazon 200 pound gift voucher. And fourth prize is a um, 100 pounds gift voucher. So in these particular cases, uh, the Google Nexus 7 tablet was donated by Adobe. The 200 pound uh, gift voucher was donated by Gotham Jewel Science. And the 100 pound gift voucher was donated by Quotium. And the best part about this one, you have to be here to win. So your odds are so much better. So, Adrian, you want to come in? <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, shake, shake it around. If he, if he draws his own one, it's fair enough. Oh, goodness. Okay, so, <laughs> Jose Maria Cruz Gonzalez. Oh, hey! First, first prize. <laughs> Wait, I, <laughs> okay. So, so from uh, from uh, we will uh, we will email you the um the, the details here. Yes. So I'm going I'm going in, in uh, I like to go this way. So we will get you the, the two tickets to um e, e, uh, to Absec, uh, EU next year. Yeah. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> we're we're committed now. So, Stephen, do you want to do the next one? So Google Nexus Seven tablet. Okay, Martin, this is not you. <laughs> it is your namesake. Yeah. Uh, Martin D. von Knobloch. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Excellent. And here we are. Enjoy. <laughs> Laura, do you want to draw one for us? So this is for the, uh, the 200 pound Amazon gift voucher. I'm surprised that we've got everybody here so far. Uh, I'm going I'm to murder your name. Uh, Michael uh, Vasik, W-A-S-I-K. <laughs> Laura, do we have the 200 pound gift voucher with us? Or are we going to have to get it to Michael afterwards? The, Okay, we'll get, we'll get, we, we will arrange this to get this, okay. this to you afterwards. Excellent, Thanks. thank you. Thank you. And last but not least, actually, are we going to have all of our four winners here? Is, is that a miracle? Fabio, come over here and, uh, and draw one for us. You're standing there, I'm going to make use of you. So how many? One. Just one? Yeah, so this is for the 100 pound gift voucher. All right. David Gale. David Gale! Yay. One of our volunteers! <laughs> See, I, 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 told, I told you you needed to enter there. Excellent. Okay, well, well done to all of our people who, um, who entered. And I just want to, I just want to finish off um, kind of uh, some of the more celebratory bits by, by thanking um, the uh, the team involved um, with with the conference. Um, not only did we have the um, the core OWASP team um, that you're probably familiar with. Um, we have some of the folks from the OWASP Foundation who are here. Um, we have Laura, who's our, our conference's manager. We had uh, GK, who is our supporter, our supporting... Um, uh, uh, I'm blanking on her. Uh, I'm tired. So the community manager. Community manager. Community is the word I'm missing. So community manager. Um, but what we also had is we have a lot of people, um, both from uh, the university's um, uh, team, as well as um, the OWASP volunteers who put it forward. So um, we have... You know, Adrian, who was the conference chair. T take a round. <laughs> and, uh, and we also have um, Stephen, who's also his, his co-chair of uh, the Cambridge chapter as well, um, who, amongst other things, has been locked in a room doing the CTF for the last two days. So thank you very much there, Stephen, as well. We'd also like to thank the OWASP Foundation team. We mentioned Laura, who has been in the background doing uh, all kinds of stuff. And uh, all of you who had issues that she was stomping on and yelling at hotel people and various other things, thank you, Laura, for your, your, your tireless work in getting things sorted out so that we, we, we got a conference. Almost last but, not, last but not least, no, the penultimate, I'd like to thank the university's conference team in particular, Heather Hutchins, who has been helping us organize everything for what seems like absolutely months uh, now, uh, trying to find vendors for things, trying to organize people and places, trying to get us uh, you know, options on where we're going to go. Um, Heather, thank you very much um, for all of your assistance. And Adrian has a nice little something for you to say thank you in a bit more concrete way.
and, and last but not least, all of the all of the rest of the conference team who are here on the uh, here organizing things, and all of the volunteers. Do we have any volunteers? All of you, kind of, you know, stand up. All of you who are volunteering, stand up. Without without all of you guys, these conferences will not happen. So. We've had APSEC EU 2015, uh, 2014. What else is going on? So, uh, you know, those of you may know, uh, you know, OWASP's APSEC, next APSEC conference is USA. It's in Denver uh, in September. Um, any announcements on, uh, on, on Asia PAC and Latin America to be announced? But what about APSEC EU, EU 2015? <laughs> and at this point, I will hand over Pushing the buttons? To Martin. Turn it, turn it on. You need to turn it on. Yep. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's an advantage to have a good voice. Okay, so definitely next year, if this one was good, ours will be better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very I'm modest, I know. Uh, the difference is, Netherlands is not that big, not, not as the Luxembourg, not as Belgium, so we do it with three chapters together. Those who are with always longer, you know that previous two EPSEC conferences have been in Belgium. Now it's time to go to Amsterdam, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it's the 19th to 22nd of May next year. 19th and 20th will be the training days. 20, 21st and 22nd will be the conference days. Push the button, please. Oh. The great thing about Amsterdam is we have a lo uh, global hub. So you go down to Amsterdam Schiphol, or you can, of course, as I prefer to do, by motorbike or by car when I take the family. Also by train, we're very reachable. But it's only 20 minutes from the train. So when you go down to Amsterdam Schiphol, 20 minutes later, you are at the venue. That's really cool, isn't it? No two-hour bus drive from London. <laughs> Why did you fly into London? I, I didn't. I took the car. Okay. I took the ferry. So we, the venue will be a conference venue. We're not going to university because Netherlands, they have privatized uh, university conference venues. They're very expensive, so we go to a real one. We actually do in the Benelux, the Benelux days. It's a free conference we do every year, once in Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg. That's why it's called Benelux days. Last year we did it in the same venue. We had 200 plus uh, attendees free one-day conference, and the conference venue was so great, so we said, okay, we come back. So we had our, already our rehearsal, we also conference venue. It was really, really great. And this will be bigger. So Amsterdam, you have here, you have the came. haha. <laughs> in the Netherlands, we have channels, canalen. So we have a lot of water in the Netherlands. It's rich of culture, it's a very old city. We have actually good beer. And I'm, a and I'm a German saying that. Unfortunately, the beer is not brewed in Amsterdam. <laughs> I didn't want to mention the name. But they have good beer. Only we have to get it into Amsterdam, but I will take care of this personally. <laughs> we have also already our venue for the social event. It will be the Schreibfahrtsmuseum. Sorry for the bad Dutch. I'm German from origin. So we have a very cool uh, conference venue. We have, will have there uh, always blues, but I found a band who is actually willing to perform and then give us instruments to improve the singing. I will not sing, I promise you. <laughs> Sorry? What hotel are we staying at? Ah, that's another thing. I already had hotels in I, so it will be two hotels. I have one hotel for uh, those who are uh, professionals, have money and can afford a hotel. And I will have a second thing, option for students of a cheap hotel. It's all will be set. But uh, no travel lodge, no. It might be, uh, I don't know the name, but it's also f two minutes or five minutes walking, depending on how fast you are from the conference venue. I, sp I suppose it's those of us who, who live in the UK are, li are used to like staying in travel lodges. Yeah, but you're smaller than me. The, the shower is here. <laughs> so what we do, so we have a lot we do, we extend what we do. We have the traditional builder breaker and defender tracks where I actually, I'm a developer from background. I really miss developing software. So actually the builder track, I try to do not as, look, developers come to a security conference, we do something with developers. No, it will be a developer conference inside of our conference with a subject on security. So I really, really try to get a lot of developers because those are the, uh, the people who build the software and we have to encourage them and get it to us. 
not saying like, oh, developers never come to security conferences. Of course they don't. They are developers. <laughs> so what next to do? Next to that, we extend it by a CISO track. So the next year will be the first time we have a real CISO track and a lot of side events like the OVCTF. Stephen, did I ask you already? No. Oh, happens before. So Stephen, uh, you will be there as well. We also have the project summit, of course. We have the open source source case and we have the hack bra. What we also do, it's the research track. I Maybe I forgot to put it on. So we also do OWASP research track. Uh, we will have uh, connections to the research community in Europe. They will represent the ongoing projects. So that will be really cool. And we have fun stuff. So I have, have friends who do uh, retro gaming. I think it's really boring. 2D's, uh, 2D games. Huh? It's hilarious. It's good. So we have uh, the uh, awesome retro foundation will be there all two conference days. So when you have enough of security and you're really brain dead, you can go recharging at retro, retro gaming stations, old gaming consoles. I have even two masseurs who will physically relax you. No happy ending. And, <laughs> and also we're doing uh, talking to bug crowd to have a bug hunting in the evening. So when you have heard about security all day, you put, put it in practice for a charity in the evening doing bug crowd doing bug hunting for a good cause. Immer die Schwaben. Die Schwaben. <laughs> okay, so another idea I had is we always try to, to find people to uh, push a track and it's always in looking internal. I think we as always should reach out. So I have an, had a new idea in announcing track chairs. What this means, oh, yeah, track chairs. What it means, it's pair track. I want something internal for always and external from the community who's actually like the godfather of the track. He's minding the track. He uses his uh, network to support the track, find the good speakers, get out loud to the community. That's something new we do, and I hope it will be successful and can be extended. And we have the first external who said, I'm not an OWASP member. I don't think if he's an OWASP member. Where is he, Josh? Are you an OWASP member? Still not. <laughs> so we have internally, for, for example, builders, Jim Manico and Josh Goman, then will promote and active support this track. So I am reaching out to, for every track to internal for OWASP and external to have people promoting it and increasing the quality of our tracks. So then here's also the research track and the Ulster track. So we are making it more professional. One more slide, I think. Okay, so that's the team. That's my uh, friendly face, so don't get me upset. Uh, Jade Saber and uh, Badewin has to leave already. Ferdinand Fromm is right in the middle in front of me, my fellow chapter leader in the Netherlands. It will be awesome. And I personally, and uh, Tiago said so, I can stand when I go to an OWASP event and there is no OWASP rocket. Who missed the OWASP rockets this day? It's terrible, isn't it? My goal is, next conference, I want to have 1,000 rockets. <laughs> we will have a great rocket fight. <laughs> Looking forward to see you next year, 29th, uh, 19th to 22nd May in Amsterdam. Yeah. Uh, Oh, one more thing. And we go, could you go to a browser? You have internet? Uh, so when you go to the website, 2015.upsec.eu. I'm, I'm not plugged in. <laughs> no internet? <laughs> uh, okay. When you go to the website, this year was 2014.upsec.eu. Since today, this morning, 2015.upsec.eu. It's live, so we will build and extend the website. Of course, not really filled, but the content will come in there. We will start with uh, calling for papers in, I think, September. So we hope in uh, January we will have the schedule already ready. So we are really working for that. Oh, yeah, one more request. We will do a ticket challenge together with uh, Hacking Lab, who also supports us with the university challenge. And that's one thing we need teachers. Even for the OWASP uh, Hacking Lab event, we have free labs uh, on Hacking Lab for OWASP members. Of, actually, it's free for everybody to support OWASP. We need teachers for that. If you have spare times, like a half an hour, an hour a week, 
we need teachers for the hacking lab event. And we, have, we need teachers for the OWAS ticket challenge. So everybody who thinks, hey, I can spare one hour a week, maybe one hour, two weeks, please step up, OWAS hacking lab project. I will be really grateful for that. Thank you. And as they say, that's all, folks. Thank you, uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, the OWASP community is nothing without the people who participate in it. So thank you all for coming, and I hope to see you at the next AFSEC EU conference. Thank you very much. Sure.